right, we are crossing over the Ohio River. Driving and trying to shoot at the same time. I'm not sure how well that's working without running into traffic because this is a pretty narrow bridge. And here's the Ohio River out this side. I don't know if you can see the pretty large to Missouri. tugboat down there. So we're in Illinois for half a mile and now we're in Missouri. Ohio River. We're on the Ohio Ohio River Scenic Byway. Heading to Kansas today. I'll just make a compilation of some of the stuff I see along the road. Just so you have it look at 55 in this curve. What the heck? Alright, I'll try to keep it short but interesting. Alright, day six of this road trip. I'm just going to flip this camera to make sure it's recording. And it is. So I am in northeastern Kansas. Um, I do everything possible to avoid interstates and highways. Though their primary roads here are four lanes sometimes. But yeah, let me show you the road I'm on and what the landscape looks like following this pickup truck for a while. The speed limit on this road is 65 miles an hour. Every once in a while you come to a town and you drop down to 55, 45, 35. One town even had a speed limit of 20 going through Main Street. This is what it looks like out here. Eastern Kansas is rolling hills. Right now I'm in cattle country but I've been passing through different crops. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm not real familiar with Kansas because I used to do like Nebraska all the time. As I get farther west, I'll, I'll hit the uh, the wheat fields and all that. So anyhow, just a little throwing out there to show you what it looks like. And when I come to a town, I'll I'll turn this back on and show you what the towns look like. They're they're pretty much identical. All right, here we go. Typical western farming town. Speed limit's dropping to 45 from 65. The Lloyd City Limit. Don't know if you noticed the sign with all the rifle shots. This is a small town, so it doesn't have much of a tractor. Some of the bigger ones have these massive tractor stores. And then there's the smaller grain elevator. Or all the... Uh, and, and it's big, but it's small for this... For, for some of these places. And it's where the local farmers just bring their crops and there's a railroad track that runs alongside and at certain designated times the railroads pull up and take the grain whatever the or the crop whatever the local crop is and uh, take it off to market small car dealer over there That one didn't have a main street. Some of them have main streets, so we'll keep looking. All right, speed limit's going back up. We're done with that town already. All right, part of my trip through Kansas is a stop at the geographical center continental United States. The center of the whole United States is farther north in South Dakota and farther north in North Dakota is the center of North America. But this is the center of the 48 states. Just like the Four Corners is not the actual spot. The actual spot is like three or four miles away. It must be private property so this is, this is what they've designated. So anyhow this is what it looks like. So there's a little welcome sign, U.S. Center Chapel, a little picnic area, there's a view out to Kansas.
Here we are at the alleged geographical center of the 48 states. A couple flags going up here in the United States and Kansas. Let's see what the marker has to say. the road today so far five and a half hours I started in Kansas and I'm still in Kansas uh, eventually I'll get to Colorado I don't know how far down the road that is oh I want you to see this if you hate traffic in the last 30 minutes that's the second vehicle I've seen and I'm doing 70 miles an hour in a 65 mile an hour zone on this road so, if you hate driving in traffic, this might be some place to just come drive around on a vacation. Two vehicles in the last 30 minutes, and you got to see one of them. You notice there's no bends in the road. There are hills here, but it just, I'm going west, I've been going west, and it just keeps going west. Wait to the top of this hill to see what's going on. Oh, curve in the road. That's two for two. A curve and a car. Or a truck. Cars are pretty scarce out here. Everyone drives pickup trucks. Alright. Shut this off without killing myself. Getting into the western part of Kansas. Yes, we're still in Kansas. Uh, seven hours later. Um, as you can see, it's a lot flatter. Still a little bit of hilliness going on, but it really, it's, a lot of that is the crop. It's pretty flat. We're coming up on a town. And, and literally every town, as a matter of fact, the town I just went through, I don't know how they called it a town because all it had was these uh, silage storage, or the, the grain storage, whatever these elevators are referred to as. There's more off to the side. But they have these big ones along the, the railroad tracks and all the local product is brought to. And I'll show you these as we go by. This is not the biggest one I've passed, but it's pretty good size. So it's got all these big storage facilities for the grain crops, whatever the crops are. There's another one. You can see the railroad tracks. They're working on the railroad tracks. Whatever they're doing over here. There's a few houses on the other side and that's pretty much the town. We're back to 65 miles an hour. So, where I'm from in New England, the towns are all built around or started off at least on the rivers because they use the rivers for transportation for powering their textile mills and everything 
and so they're all built along the rivers. Here they're just built along the railroad tracks and they're all based on the farms and the crops. So no rivers necessary, just getting your crops into the, the local towns. And so you travel along at 65 miles an hour for, I don't know, anywhere from five to 25 minutes so you hit the next little town that uh, is set up simply for, for these farmers. So it's just, it's a different way of life out here. It's a different setup. It's really cool. I really enjoy coming out and seeing this stuff. And I'm glad I can share some of it with you. I am in, I am in eastern Colorado now, straddling the line on the road, which is not a good thing. Um, I've held off. It's just a hazy day. I don't know if it's hazy like this all the time or not. I've been able to see these things for like the last 20 miles, but I don't know what the camera could do. But if you look in the distance, those are the Rocky Mountains. Let's see if I can, once this vehicle goes by, I want to see if I can zoom out. I don't understand this camera. It doesn't let me zoom sometimes. Hold on, I'm going to stop it and come back. Alright, it's pretty bright, pretty... We're shooting towards the sun, but... Those are the Rocky Mountains. It's still 20 miles from them. I'll be driving through them sun Monday. Tomorrow, well, I'll be in them tomorrow too, in Colorado. But this segment is Kansas to the Rocky Mountains, so that will be a different segment. And uh, I don't know how well it's showing up on here. I'm going to pause and come back out. Doesn't seem to let me zoom when I'm videoing. I have to look this up. But those are the Rocky Mountains. I'll show them to you one more time when I get closer. Literally, I'm sitting here. I was hit, sitting here listening to Ray Charles sing about America the Beautiful and Purple Mountain Majesty, and, and it's it's just pretty amazing. So I'll be back one more time in this segment. All right, here are the Rockies. A little bit better view. Not a great view. We'll get a great views. So I'll be driving through them. And I'll be sure to share some of that. Got traffic out here now. I'm on a different road. Getting closer to uh, some level of civilization. But they're pretty spectacular. They run from New Mexico all the way up into Canada. And uh, I'll be hitting the New Mexico ones later this trip. I've been in Southern Colorado Rockies, Middle Colorado Rockies, Northern Colorado Rockies, Wyoming Rockies, uh, Idaho, Montana. I did a couple National Parks Rockies up in Canada a couple years ago. It, it just, it's spectacular stuff. And, uh, I would just be babbling because there's nothing to see. But it's just really cool stuff, and I hope to be able to share some of that with you from this, from this trip.